Hi guys. I thought I'd just share a little uh, junky junky journal that I've made today. And this little guy, I just knocked him up in about 20 minutes. Um, it's really rough and ready and a bit, um, a bit like junky junky. But um, it's just a little book that's going to go into an order that I'm sending out today just as a little thank you to the lady that ordered it um she's uh she's on the junk journal down under Facebook group and she's really lovely and encouraging to everyone not just myself but to other little um you know YouTubers and Etsy shop owners and that as well so I just wanted to say a little thank you so this little guy he only took around 20 minutes um, but I thought he turned out quite cute. What it's made out of is, it was actually an old purse. So this bit was up the top. Well, you know, like down the side like that. And then it had um, these little corner bits. So it was a bit rounded at the edges. So I've just pretty much snipped it top and bottom and taken out the old clasp and this this purse was just um a purse that the op shop was throwing out um because i go to that op shop quite often the lady actually put it aside for me which was really nice and she said they hadn't sold it and um it was a bit the the plastic was a bit damaged and they they were going to throw it out and she knew that I always was looking for nice fabrics and stuff so she kept it for me so I decided to chop it and just make a little mini journal so inside it's got like you know this foam foamy stuff inside and then a black layer now I didn't take all of that apart so I didn't take the top level off layer off I just left it as is so that it's a bit spongy so it's a bit spongy so it's a soft cover then what I've done is stitched around it just so it didn't keep fraying and inside I had a scrap of this fabric and it was almost actually the perfect size and what this is you may have seen this if you've been with my channel from the very beginning, <laughs> I had three traveller's notebooks that I made that the inside was this material. And this was actually taken from, um, it's my husband's drop cloth from when we were painting. Um, after we finished painting, I, I washed it and I it was hanging on the clothesline and it, the edges fray really nice and I was like ooh so <laughs> you know over the course of a few days while it was drying I was like snipping little bits off off the end so we had this huge drop cloth that over time has slowly uh, shrunk down to size and now the whole thing the rest of it is just in my craft room as material um so I've just put some of that on the backing and I've just machine stitched it just so it's nice and quick um I've popped a little bit of fabric inside to make a pocket. And the whole thing, this whole journal, the insides, it is made out of scraps off my desk. So I wanted it to be quick and easy and use up little scraps. So it was good actually. It was kind of a clean up journal. So this was just a bit of file folder and some string. This is the string I use when I wrap my orders. That's the coffee diet, part of a coffee diet envelope. Page for children's book. Just some little tags with little leftover scraps. Bits of fabric. This is an Australia Post bag and there's a pocket there. Ooh, I should put something in there. I'll find something to put in there. Uh, that's a, you know, one of those... Like a paper bag from a stray post. Book pages. That's a different language. I'm not sure what language it is. Part of an envelope. Diary. Children's colouring book. Got some little... This is part of the same envelope. Look how cute that is. That's the pattern on the envelope. 
that I had coffee dyed the envelope and these were the little scraps left over from a different project. I thought they were cute. Part of that envelope, music paper. Here I've just punched out the corner and on the other side I've just stuck a bit of red fabric so that you can see the heart through it. little taggies the other side of the paper bag Oops, then I need to put something in there A scrap of coffee dyed paper envelope just another scrap of dye, coffee dyed paper and I just punched out a flower there and that's it the only thing the the purse it did you know when it's closed it sits nicely but when you open it it's got a little bit of a bubble there but that's because I didn't um, bother to pull the lining and everything apart to sew it flat so I've just um left it in that position <laughs> because I was just doing a really super quick little uh little journal but anyway I thought I'd show you that um 20 minute one just um the reason I thought I'd share it is just to give you some ideas with all those little scraps and off cuts and everything that build up on your desk or I had some of the stuff in uh in my crap box <laughs> that sits on my desk i'm sure everyone's got one of those um all those little pieces and off cuts and rubbish that you have floating on your desk just collate them all chuck anything on as a cover and just stitch it down the middle and it's i thought it's turned out quite cute anyway that's all thought i'd share that and um that's it thanks for watching bye